so we're going to talk about our ball system for our robot. So this is in our pre-match configuration. Our over-the-bumper uh, intake starts vertical here. We've got a strap of Velcro on the side that's just lightly attached um, in order to hold it in place before the match starts. So it's pretty lightly held, so once the match starts, we can just shake it loose. So our over-the-bumper uh, intake just is some Versa rollers with neoprene rubber on top of them and some polycord to power them. Um, we'll demo it right here. So, um, we, we've been having a little bit of issue with just having enough friction on the ball, so we think if we just add a little bit of surgical tubing, that should be enough to get it consistently pulling over the bumper. Uh, so once we actually intake, um, our whole system is driven by this 10 to 1 bag motor. Um, so our, our intake and our indexing and outtake system is all powered by the same motor. So our storage system here it consists of two Versa rollers with some flat belt. Um, they're, on the, they're actuated on these pistons. So when we're collecting balls, we can have the uh, whole thing be elevated slightly, pivoted up, which prevents the balls from coming out of the end. Um, we can just collect balls in here and hold them. And then once we're ready to actually drive to the goal and score, we can clamp down on the balls, drive up to the goal, and spit them out. Um, a few things that we've heard from other teams, um, some of the teams that have had, actually have more than one game piece have said that the friction uh, between the game pieces can cause some issues, cause some binding. So um, we'll have to test that once we get some more game pieces, um, whether the multiple balls in there is going to uh, bind together and prevent them from rolling up. So for our drivetrain, we just utilize the Andy Mark uh, kit bot um, AM14U4 uh, in the long configuration. Uh, just a six-wheel drivetrain with the uh, Andy Mark tough boxes, um, or tough box minis, sorry, with two sims on each side of the drivetrain. Um, we cut a belly pan to throw in there and uh, mounted some pneumatics and all our electronics down there, of course. Um, we built our own custom bumper solution as opposed to um, using the Andy Mark provided brackets. Uh, we had some difficulty with those. These are the bumpers that we built. Um, you'll notice compared to a regular bumper where you can compress them a little bit, um, our bumpers are quite tight. There's not a lot of compression on them. Uh, in addition to looking really nice, um, they also provide an advantage for uh, in taking over the bumper. There's not a lot of give there. There's not a lot of um, movement to cause anything to bind. Uh, check out our bumper tutorial for how to make bumpers. Our uh, climb mechanism is a two-stage uh, two arm driven by uh, some pneumatic pistons. So we just have a linkage, um, our string linkage, so that when our piston uh, deploys our arm, the strings pull up the second stage. We just have a little hook here with some standoffs and a metal plate. Um, we have a, then once it's up, we can hook on and uh, disengage the pistons and we retract using a winch system that was repurposed from a previous year's climb. Um, so we just use, on this side, we have a uh, ratcheting wrench on a half inch hex shaft um, to keep the robot from falling back down at the end of the match. Uh, you can see that right there. Um, we're just using some uh, cable tie down strap and some uh, chain managers to uh, manage our cable while we're driving around on the field.